Ghostfest is a month away in Pokemon Go and you need to be taking advantage of this event before, during and after. Here's everything you need to do to fully max out, let's get right into it. So first off we need to make sure we're prepping Pokeballs, Pineapple Berries and Premium Items. These are by far the three most important categories to make sure you're getting to max out for Gofest. You can also go the extra mile in getting incubators and you want to make sure you're hatching 12 kilometer eggs. You also want to make sure you're memorizing the counters for Kyogre, Groudon and Rayquaza. Remember that Groudon, when it is in the primal state, does have the extra weakness of water because it is now going to be a fire and ground type. Kyogre is going to be weak to electric and grass, so they're going to be the best Pokemon for Kyogre. Rayquaza's best counters will be ice types because it will be four times weak to ice. But you can also use dragon and fairy type Pokemon. You also want to make sure you're leveling up your mega Pokemon to mega level three. This is where you'll get the most amount of bonuses, and this is how you can really max out on the XL candy because when you're mega level three, you do get an increased chance of getting XO candy alongside additional XP and regular candy so you definitely want to make sure you're maxing out on that and if you don't it's completely your choice but I would recommend doing this mega level 3 them now you have a month to do so which is why I'm making this video a month early I want you guys to truly max out clearing out your backspace and Pokemon space will be the most important things you can do before the event as well clearing out your backspace will allow you to get rid of unnecessary items like Nama berries and replace those item slots with Pokeballs, Great Balls and Ultra Balls I have a video already on how to actually max out on your bag storage what to keep what you shouldn't and how to manage it and I am currently in the works of making a Pokemon space video but for now just transfer anything you're not going to power up use or even have any sort of value towards finding an area to play now this is one of the most important things you can do whether this be a downtown area like a town center or a local park that just has a lot of spawns and pokestops alongside this you can find raid groups and raiding discords you also want to make sure you reach level 31 you don't get any xl candies until you reach level 31 but if you can it honestly you should get this done in a month regardless at what level you're at if you're under level 31 i guarantee if you play and follow the tips that we mentioned on this channel you can get to level 31 before the 26th of August and then max out on all the XL candy you guys can get. Finding local players, people you can play with during this event, not only does it make the experience more fun, but you can also trade to get some lucky Pokemon, trade to get some more XLs, and just trade for Pokemon that are regional. Whilst you're at it, you can stock up on lower modules in case you do play at a place with Pokestops. This will allow you to get more spawns for the day and help with that Platinum Medal. The final thing you want to do is buy a battery pack, maybe even two or three if you really are playing this event truly to your limit. There's no point going to an event like GoFest, not having a fully charged phone and not having enough battery to play or else you won't even be able to play because your phone will be flat out dead. You want to make sure you go to the event with full battery and full battery packs, maybe two or three, so you can play the full two days without having to risk your phone dying. Comment down below if this video helped, and thanks for watching.